Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with us today. Today we're going to set my wife up with an Easy V bow sight. We got a nice pink insert in there and I want to show the ins and outs of setting up a bow for a lady who's shooting a slower poundage, a lower poundage and slower arrow speed, but also if you're a big guy like me and you're shooting super heavy arrows. So her bow is shooting right now at a blistering 200 feet a second, which is the lowest insert you could possibly get from Easy V at this point. And so we have it installed there. That's as far as we can go. Her pin gaps were a little bit different. She was starting more like 17 yards instead of 20. So we had to start with the lowest possible FPS setting. And so we're going to step up here real close to the target. Just make sure uh, she can get used to the sight picture because it's something totally different she's never seen before. And also make sure the sight isn't completely off. I kind of eyeballed it a little bit, made sure that it was kind of in line with the rest and approximately up and down where it was with her old pin sight. We're going to do some shots here and then step back to 20 and get the actual sighting process started. All right, so now we're back at a laser verified 20 yards. We're gonna sight in using the paper target that comes from Easy V. So she's gonna put the top hash marks in the V, lining up in the two outside notches of that black circle so we can start getting a group and fine tune the sight from there. All right, so she shot her first three arrow group. She's significantly low and just a touch to the left. So I followed the arrow using the sight. So I moved the sight down to follow the group and just to the left to follow the group. We're gonna shoot another one and see if we can get her back in the center. <laughs> I moved it too far. <laughs> We're gonna have to move that back up. <laughs> All right, so here we have the first two shots down and a little bit to the left. I made the adjustment on the sight. I'm still getting used to how many hash marks I need to move. I moved it too far, and this was the third shot then here, way too high. Then I moved it down a little bit, and we got this group right here closer to the center. So now that we have an established group here in the center, it looks maybe it's a little bit left still, but I'm gonna have her shoot another group just like I would still shoot another group, just to see if I do have a little bit of left-right issue that I need to move my sight to chase the arrow. So we're gonna step back to 20 yards again and have her shoot another group. All right, so we shot another group at 20 yards. We still have the two on the left and the one in the center, but for now I'm gonna call it good. We're now gonna step back to 30 yards, and if we see that all of the arrows in the group are starting to track a little bit left, then we'll make that slight side adjustment because at 30 yards, any side adjustment you make is going to be uh, more exaggerated than at 20 yards and the same would be true of 40 and 50 yards. Now that 200 feet per second insert only has tick marks for 20, 30 and 40. I don't expect her to be really taking any shots either at an animal or at a 3D target past 25, 30 yards. So we're going to step back to 30 and see what kind of group we get. All right, so here's our first group at 30 yards. We're a little bit high, but our left right is good. So that means we didn't have to make that sight adjustment. Now, whether or not I need to move the sight up or not, because the same thing is true for the left and right and the up and down in terms of how exaggerated a sight movement can be when you back up to 20, 30 yards. And considering her bow is so slow, shooting at 200 feet per second, there's a lot of arc in that arrow and a little bit of sight adjustment can really change an impact point over just two to three yards. So we're gonna shoot another group here, definitely to make sure we're at 30 yards, use the V and see if we can bring it closer to the center. All right, so we have our second group here at 30 yards and we're starting to spread out a little bit, which is okay. My wife doesn't shoot all that much. And if you're brand new to the sport of archery or brand new to just any type of sight, particularly the easy V, don't panic about your spreads here at the beginning. I'm actually very excited that she doesn't have the left-right misses. That means she's really framing well, but we have the vertical issue, but you know what, that's okay. And particularly at 30 yards, I don't even feel comfortable really taking a shot at an animal, really past 25, 30. So being this accurate at her level of experience is perfectly fine. So quite frankly, considering she doesn't really shoot past 20, 25 yards as it is, I'm gonna leave the site exactly how it is right now. Clearly that 20 yard was right on point 
point it was perfect for what she needs to be shooting so I'm not gonna mess with it I'm gonna leave well enough alone and let her enjoy shooting hi everyone I'm back shooting the easy V site this is day three I would say practicing with it um, the first day I did well especially at 20 yards but I know I needed to practice more at 30 yards unlike my husband who shoots once to twice a day I only shoot once a week so obviously it's going to take a little bit more practice I'm fairly new at shooting maybe one to two months or maybe three months into shooting uh, so just doing everything just like holding it straight and not looking every time I shoot those are things that I'm still working on so I'm going to warm up at 20 yards and we're gonna see how I do so I'm lining up my top tick marks All right, that was three shots, so let's go see how I did. Okay, so here are my three shots. Uh, I shot at the Morel High Roller XL this time instead of the target that the EZV site gave us um, because typically you're not going to be shooting that every single time. We chose to shoot at the one with the number one for the die because I'm able to center my tick marks on these two sides and it should go in the middle. <laughs> this is my first shot. This was just error on my part and then my last two shots were where I wanted them to be. So I'm going to do that one more time off tape and then I'm going to move back to 30 yards and see how I do. Okay so I am back here at 30 yards. I actually had to shoot through the swing set so we will see how that works. So the first time I shot at 20 yards I lined up, I centered the morel target, the dot with the top hash marks and now I'm going to go to the middle one for 30 yards. So see how I do. Hopefully better than the first day. <laughs> I think that's good. <laughs> we'll, we'll shoot another one. Actually, I can't see it at all. I think that's in there too. <laughs> Woohoo! I will say, I really like this site. Um, I wasn't, I'm not a huge fan of pin sites. Obviously, that's what you use for Target and 3D and everything like that. Um, but I always felt like I couldn't see where I was shooting so with this site I really love the just the openness of it and I'm a very visual person So it's very easy for me to center these hash marks in the center of what I'm shooting So I've been really pleased with it and it's super fun. I love being able to see just everything that I'm shooting at All right that looks good. Let's go see how I did. All right, I am super happy. My first time shooting at 30 yards, I was all over the map. Um, so I'm super excited to see that all my arrows are either in the white center dot or they are, this one is half in and half out of the red, but still that is perfect when shooting at any animal. Um, so I'm very excited and I'm still going to be shooting the site and see if I can get better and better. I think I would, I wouldn't anyway shoot more than 30 yards when hunting, but Either way, it's fun to practice. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the EZV site, feel free to either email my husband or you can ask questions in the comments below. He checks them every day. And I hope you, darn it. So I hope you can get outside today, enjoy the sport of archery and archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation and he'll get to see you next time. See ya.